out to the people who solve plant and insect mysteries for people all across Oklahoma. As a part of Oklahoma State University's wheat breeding team, Bob Hunger can be found each spring combing the fields looking for signs of disease. The foliar fungal diseases and some of the other fungal diseases are usually pretty easily identified in the field. The virus diseases are the ones that are a lot tricky because their symptoms tend to merge together into an overall pattern of mosaics and streaks and those kinds of things, yellowing, which are a bit more difficult to identify. For that help, Hunger turns to a lab tucked inside the Noble Research Center here at OSU, the Plant Disease and Insect Diagnostic Lab, also known as Pedidl. Our primary mission is to serve the citizens of Oklahoma, whether it's a home gardener or a horticulturist. That Richard Grantham is the director of Pedidl. His focus is identifying insect threats, while Jen Olson heads up the effort with plant diseases. People sort of equate what we do to sort of CSI for plants because it's the same idea. It's just merely a pattern of eliminating things until we finally figure it out and you have that eureka moment. We can have different biotypes of insects. They're not necessarily a different species. They're just, say, a different flavor of that species. One of those flavors may be resistant to a pesticide. And in another case, when you look at the plant disease end of it, we have leaf spots on, on a leaf. Well, that leaf spot can be caused by a virus, it can be caused by a bacterium, it can be caused by a fungi, or it can be caused by a chemical. All four of those have different treatment options, and one of those has no treatment option. You can't treat a virus. So the knowledge this lab provides can be the difference between treating the problem and spending money hand over foot for no result at all. Now, if you find yourself in need of the plant disease and insect diagnostic lab, the easiest route is through your county extension office. A lot of times the county educator can tell them what's wrong with that plant because we've trained them in the common diseases and common insects out there. Now if he can't tell them or she can't tell them exactly what it is, then they'll go ahead and mail it in to us. We also ask our clients anytime possible to send images, especially when um, they're looking at an entire field and I'm just getting one little plant. Things look very different. It also looks different after it's gone through the mail. If you'd like more information on the Plant Disease and Insect Diagnostic Lab here at Oklahoma State University, visit our website, sunup.okstate.edu, and click on the Show Links tab. We're here to help. So if you have any kind of an insect that needs to be identified, or you have any kind of a uh, disease going on, send it in to your county extension officers, and we can definitely get it identified as to what the pathogen is or what the insect is that is causing problems on your plants. That's what we're here for.